loved the first Underworld movie. The first Underworld movie is pretty fucking awesome. Yes, it does have its problems, but overall, it's a good movie. The second Underworld movie it was okay, I guess. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it was alright. The third Underworld movie sucks. It just sucks. There are some good things about it, but overall, it just sucks. So, what went wrong? Well, I think it went something like this. I don't think the creators of the first Underworld expected it to be as good as it was, didn't expect it to be as popular as it was, and so they made this <coughs> huge mistake in the first movie, and that is, they killed off most of the cool fucking characters. Part of the reason why the movie was awesome, but oh no, now we're fucked for the sequel, so what do they do? Well, well in the second movie, Underworld Evolution, uh, they have scenes that take place in the past so they can reuse some of their killed off characters. But, you know, that didn't really quite cut the mustard, so they said, you know, let's have a whole fucking prequel, that way we can have our cool fucking characters back. And it didn't work out, at least not by my calculations. So, what made the first Underworld so good? Well, it was an action movie, it was a science fiction movie, it had Kate Beckinsale, which always helps. You didn't really know what was happening in the story, there was a little bit of mystery, you weren't sure of the motivations of all the characters. The characters were much cooler. Um, some of the weaknesses in the first Underworld movie was it all kind of circles around this character, Michael Corvin, who I didn't like at all. Uh, he was a very bland, kind of one-dimensional character to me. And by the end of the movie, he becomes this thing that uh, is supposed to be this super powerful creature, and he just looks like uh, like a purple vampire or something. And, he looked really stupid, and he wasn't even that strong, and he actually had to be rescued by the Kate Beckinsale character. And what was even more stupid about him was he couldn't talk whilst he was transformed into that uh, thing. So, yeah, I didn't really like him, but I liked a lot of uh, everything else. But it kind of sucks when one of your main characters was retarded like that. But Underworld was a cool movie, and... You know, despite that, it, it still worked really well for me. Now let me give you an example from the movie itself. There would be no way that you'd be involved with something like that, but they're looking for you right now. Why are they after you? Hello, Michael. Okay, now that's a fucking action scene. That is one of my favorite sequences in any movie, bar none. I love that whole two, three, four minutes. Obviously I cut it down here, but I just love that scene. To me, that's Underworld. Now, here's an action sequence from Rise of the Lycan. Thank you. 
do you have any idea what the fuck you just saw? That's Rise of the Lycans. And this is one of the action scenes that actually kind of cuts down on the use of CGI. You don't know who the good guys are if you're not watching the movie from the start. Uh, you don't know who's fighting who. You don't know what's going on. There's so much damn flash editing that it looks like fucking Boomp It. The worst goddamn music video ever made. And there's so many cuts, it's like, you know, one move cut, another move cut. I mean, learn how to fucking get a stunt coordinator or something. I mean, Jesus Christ. Just use stuntmen. If, you know, it's like they wanted to use the actors, so every single fucking gesture is a cut, 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 cut. You know, it looks like a combination of the Matrix 300 and a fucking YouTube music video. I wanted to make a music video out of this movie, but it sucks. How am I supposed to work with that? It's already cut up so much. I mean, god damn. This movie is a fucking music video. The monstrous. There's this quote-unquote love scene near the beginning of the movie where Lucien is seen hanging over a cliff from the waist up uh, with this ridiculous grin on his face. And I'm thinking to myself, what? What do you want me to do at this scene? Do you want me to laugh? Because I did laugh. I believe my exact words was, what the fuck was that? I I don't know what they were going for. It doesn't matter. Uh, I was really disappointed by this movie. You know, I didn't hear anything really great about it before I saw it. But I was expecting to like it a lot more than I did. What was good about it? Well, the costumes were cool. Uh, I really like the vampire's armor. Um, that's about it. Well, you know, some of the action is okay. I mean, there's this one scene where there's like hundreds of werewolves just charging this vampire fort, and that's kind of cool. If you can get past all the CGI. But, uh, that's about it. Oh, and there's just one other really funny scene. Yes, Raz is cool, but he's human in this scene, and he's kicking werewolf ass. That's just ridiculous. I was having flashbacks to dog soldiers here. So, that's about it. That's all I wanted to say, just skip this movie. Even if you're an Underworld fan, if you haven't already seen it, it's not really worth it, not for any price, maybe if you can see it for free, but maybe not even then. So, that's it. Take it sleazy.